what's up guys so today i'm taking one of my old rejected art pieces and turning it into a side table so on this layer i'm just sanding the glossy coat because there was epoxy on this so i'm sanding that down to get a rougher texture to go ahead and paint over with black acrylic paint as you can see here Okay, so the things I'll be using today besides my pigments are going to be my Porter and Cable. Please mind the messiness of it. I just use this a lot. I love this thing. You have to have this if you're going to be using resin. So Porter and Cable heat gun. I'm also going to be using my blowtorch. I'm going to be using resin which i already explained some wooden popsicle sticks to mix one of these to measure and mix my epoxy in equal parts and i believe that's all i have these this propped up on some risers and there's like a plastic drop cloth over this table so what i'm gonna do now is mix up my epoxy So I'm gonna be using the Moss Epoxy Tabletop Pro. You know, that's usually my go-to whenever I'm um, pouring on any surface. So I'm gonna be using a little, little, little bit of this to mix in, and also my alcohol ink. I'm not going to be using anything like with any shimmer um, because I want to go for like a real sleek all black look um, similar to the one that I showed a little bit earlier but um, I want the background to be really really just straight black no sprinkles of glitter or anything like that and then for my gold since I want some type of lacing I think I'm going to try this. Here I'm using my alcohol ink and paint to tint the resin. When you are mixing a dark color like black, you want to just um, pick up the popsicle stick and look at the drips of the resin to see how opaque it is. Um, I don't need it that opaque, of course, because the background is still black. But just to cover up any inconsistencies, I want it pretty black. Then I'm just mixing up my gold. I don't need that much because I'm just doing a small design. And I did want to show you guys how I got this, but my footage was lost. I don't know if I think I lost storage or something um, and it just stopped recording, but I didn't get that part. Unfortunately, I apologize. I'm just pulling out the excess resin so that I can reuse this same plastic cup again to pour my clear layer. Alright, so here's how it's looking after that clear layer. And as you saw, I went ahead and used some um, 
of the raw gold alcohol. You um you had you 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 the raw gold alcohol ink and just dropped it right on top of the clear resin. And I'm not really getting it on camera, but it it kind of looks like it's floating on top of the first layer. I'm trying to get it, but you can't really see it in the camera. It it, it added a lot of depth to it. Um and I like how that came out. I didn't tape off the bottom, so I'm just going in with a sander, 60 grit sanding, and um, getting the drips off of the back to have a smooth finish on the bottom of the table. And it is pretty satisfying to see the sharp, nice, clean edges. I do like that. Yes, yes. This is just some boiled linseed oil to just seal in the wood. Now I'm going to get my metal brander and my handy dandy blowtorch and brand the bottom of this. And I'm still getting used to heating it evenly and like learning how to get it perfectly. So don't judge me. And you guys did vote on Instagram polls for the metal hairpin legs, so I just went ahead and drilled those into the bottom. And here is how it came out, guys. I'm so happy with the end result. Let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks for watching guys. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and TikTok for more process videos, updates, and Instagram polls.